Take a look at this chart. Here, market moves sideways and basically there is nothing much exciting happening and this kind of market is what we call as a balanced market. Now, look at this particular chart where the market trends or moves in one particular direction throughout the day. And this is what we call as an imbalanced market. Well, the big question is how can we identify such imbalances before they happen and capitalize on a significant intraday moments? That's exactly the purpose of today's video. What I'm going to share isn't just theoretical, it's based on a clear logic and a strategy proven over the past 10 years. Before we dive in, I want to mention that I have recently published a book called Mastermind of Day Trading. You will find the link in the description. It's available on Amazon and Flipkart. And basically, it covers the core principle, rule-based principles using market profile and price action. If you are someone who is interested in internet trading, definitely this book could be a great resource for you. So please check it out. And I'm also sharing real-time Nifty and Bank Nifty alerts to my Telegram channel. If you don't want to miss it, link is in the description. Feel free to join. So let's get started. Well, let's start our video by understanding the meaning of balance and imbalance market because that's the basic foundation of today's video. Here's a simple question. First of all, how does the market move up and down? This is a basic question which we all need to understand. Basically, it's all about two main forces, supply and the demand. Typically, when market uh, demand and supply are in equal amounts, basically market doesn't move much and it stays in sideways. And that's the kind of a market environment we call as balanced market, where the balance is established between the supply and demand. On the other hand, when there is a more supply than the demand or maybe more demand than the supply, basically there is an imbalance between supply and demand. At that particular moment, it could be, it could be triggered by any event financial event budget or any major event so whenever there is an imbalance in the market or any particular instrument uh, in that particular case the market tends to move in one particular direction to find the new balance so this is the basic principle with which the market moves in simple words when there is an imbalance market tend to move in the trending moves and similarly when there is a balance between supply and demand market usually stays in sideways so our focus for today's video is about identifying this imbalanced market by somehow if we can identify the imbalanced market way before it happens so there is a good chance for us to apply breakout strategies and capture significant moves during the day well now you might ask Natraj the imbalance concept is very clear to us tell me how to identify it in the very beginning of the market well one of the simplest and straightforward way to detect imbalance in the beginning is to look for a gap well, you might be already knowing this particular concept. Basically, most of the people compare today's open, today's open for previous close and they define certain percentage and based on that, they define the uh, gap. But in our case, we have a different approach. So basically, I pay attention to the first 15 minute closing price of today along with the previous day's total range. Why the first 15 minute? Well, why not 30 minute, one hour? Well, in my case, I consider 15 minute, but 30 minute also could be considered here. Usually, the first 15 to 30 minute market scenario is sets the tone for entire day so that's why i basically consider this particular hour this particular duration of the first initial hours of the market is very very critical for me and if we have this information we can easily identify the imbalance in most of the cases in the beginning of the day imagine yesterday is over and you are preparing for today in this case you note the pdh previous day high and previous day low that's the entire range of the previous day and you are going to wait for the first 15 minute to happen once the 15 minute is completed of today's 15 minute you are going to compare 15 minute close today's 15 minute close with previous day high and previous day low for example if the market closes below the pdl or maybe if the market closes above the pdh that means market is closing the first 15 minute close is either above the pdh or below the pdl which indicates what it's an imbalance that's how we identify the imbalance however if the 15 minute candle closes within the range of previous day then it indicates a balanced market for us and more importantly we only apply this strategy on imbalance if there is no imbalance in the market the first 15 minute is closing within the previous day range then we are not going to use the strategy i'm going to discuss from now onwards i hope this is clear so basically this helps us identify an imbalance at the very beginning of the day and if you are good with this Let's proceed with the strategies we can employ on these days. Well, now it's most exciting part of the video. Basically, I'm going to discuss about the strategy. See, the whole purpose of this video is about identifying the imbalance. Once you are done with that, obviously any trending strategy on these days, 
द चांस ऑफ गेटिंग बिगर मूवमेंट ऑन इंट्राडे लेवल इज क्वाइट हाई सो इफ वी आर क्लियर ऑन दिस पर्टिक्युलर थिंग ऑब्वियसली अवर सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द जॉब इज ऑलरेडी डन सो इन सिंपल वर्ड्स वंस वी आइडेंटिफाई एन इम्बैलेंस इन द फर्स्ट फिफ्टीन मिनट वी कैन डेप्लॉय एनी पर्टिक्युलर ब्रेकआउट स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर द डे और मे बी इट कुड बी अ ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग सिस्टम दिस कुड बी ओपनिंग रेंज ब्रेकआउट्स विच आई विल बी एनी बी डिस्कसिंग इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर वीडियो एंड स्विंग हाई एंड स्विंग लो ब्रेकआउट्स बेस्ड ऑन द प्राइज एक्शन बाय द बे इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन अ सपरेट वीडियो ऑन ट्रेडिंग स्विंग हाई एंड स्विंग लोज प्राइज एक्शन स्ट्रैटेजी लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट्स बाय सेइंग ब्रेकआउट डेफिनेटली आई विल कंसीडर मेकिंग वन सपरेट वीडियो ऑन इट बिकॉज इट डिमांड्स वन एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन यूज एनी पर्टिक्युलर इंडिकेटर्स दट ट्रैक द मूवमेंटम सच एज मैक डी और आर एस आई एनी पर्टिक्युलर लाइक सुपर ट्रेंड ऑल्सो कुड वर्क इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर केस द मेन थिंग इज मार्केट इज इम्बैलेंस्ड एंड देर इज अयर पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग ट्रेंडिंग मूव ऑन दट पर्टिक्युलर डे सो इन शॉर्ट समरी यू कैन डिप्लॉय एनी पर्टिक्युलर ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग मेथड ऑन दीज डेज बट आई विल एक्सप्लेन स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड strategy one of the simplest and my most favorite strategy for uh, trading breakouts on any particular day is especially intraday perspective it is opening range breakout i have already made a separate detailed video on orb and how it works and also which you can watch after this particular uh, video i am going to give the link in the last section of this video so to put it simple the strategy is very simple once the market opens we wait for first 15 minute and then we confirm whether it is a balance and imbalance day based on the first 15 minute close once that is done we wait for the first hour to complete that means we are going to consider the first one hour as our opening range and once the one hour is completed on that particular day we can simply deploy the breakout strategy for the high and low the first high and low of the first hour are considered as opening range if the price breaks above the first hour's high we can go for a long trade conversely if it breaks the below of the first hour low we can go up for a short trade it's as simple as that now let's talk about another important detail of this strategy that is is basically limiting the number of trades for the day it is very very important just because we know that it is an imbalance day we should not trade multiple trades on a single day we limit ourselves to just one or two trades for any particular given day one long and one short that's our rule for entry let's do one thing let's recall whatever we have discussed so far first we wait for the close of first 15 minute to assess the balance and imbalance if we identify an imbalance then we are going to wait for the first hour to complete after that we are ready to apply the opening range breakout strategy for the first hour in most of the cases we usually get one particular trade but in some cases we may also get two trades per day one long and one short that's the limit we have for any particular trade so this approach of limiting the number of trades for the day definitely helps us to be focused and at the same time avoid over trading well this is about the entry part let's talk about exit now exit when it comes to the exit there are so many ways creatively you can manage exits one of the simplest and effective way is to utilize the atr average true range this tool definitely helps us setting and adjusting the stop losses according to the market movements and the volatility i have already covered this particular approach in a detailed way on a separate video i am also going to leave the link in the description and also give the link in the end of this video but in the interest of simplicity for today's explanation i am going to utilize the opposite level of the opening range as my stop loss for example if the market breaks the opening range high that's a long trade we are in now we set our stop loss at the opening range low the opposite level similarly if the opening range low breaks that moment we are going to place our stop loss to the opening range high and if our stop loss is not triggered for the day once the stop loss is placed that's it for simplicity purpose i'm going to consider like this and once the market closes at 315 since it is an intraday we are going to square off our positions at 315 pm this is the rule or the condition for our strategy well the common concern here is that many people think that the stop losses we are going to consider if we consider the opposite level as our stop loss obviously it will be wide in some cases in that case we may think that this is not an effective way of keeping our stop loss but i want to remember you that the size of your stop loss is not directly proportional to the risk that you are taking this is very very important the key to managing risk effectively lies in your position sizing how you make your positions because market is dynamic for days when the market shows higher volatility and obviously range will be wide in that particular case we are going to we we, we can't change the range but we can change our position sizing you should adjust it by entering trade with a smaller quantities on the other hand a narrower range or small range allows us to 
position ourselves in a larger way. So let's clarify this with an example. Assume the opening range is 50 points in Nifty. This is an example and you are prepared to risk 5000 rupees. All right. You would divide 5000 rupees by 50 and that calculates how much around 100 quantities by opting 100 quantities in Nifty in this particular trade your risk would not cross 5000 rupees. Let's take another example where market uh, volatility has changed and now the opening range is 70 points. Instead of 50 points, we now have the 70 points risk. Similarly, in this case, we are going to keep our risk at 5000 rupees. All right. And when you divide 5000 by 70, that is the opening range, you get approximately 71.4. And obviously, you cannot trade 71 quantities in Nifty because it's a future. Obviously, you are going to opt for one lot here, 50 quantity. And this adjustment ensures that even with a wider range, 70 points, we do not risk more than 5000 rupees, which is our risk limit. The critical takeaway here is that your risk level is managed through the position sizing or the quantities that you opt, not the strategy's risk. Well, this is about the exit. I hope the concepts are clear to you. Let's now move on to applying these concepts in a real world scenarios. I'm going to show you certain case studies based on these examples and I'm also going to verify the strategy for last whatever the available data I have for Nifty and Bank Nifty. Alright, what we are looking at is basically the AMI broker software. So for verification and strategy building process, I usually use this in every single process of my trading. So here I'm looking at the Nifty 15 minute chart. Okay, you can apply it on any particular time frame as long as it is an intraday system. So here the first one hour, for example, let's say, uh, let's look into a few examples, all right? On December 14th, right? First thing is, let's compare this first 15 minute closing, which is at around 21,130. And if you compare the previous day high, which is uh, somewhere around 20,951, obviously the first 15 minute close happened, pre uh, happened above the previous day range high. And in that particular case, we can consider that as imbalanced market. And what we can do, we can simply wait for first, you know, four candle to complete. And after that, as you can see, this green line uh, denotes uh, basically the IV high or the first one hour uh, range high. And similarly, this red line indicates the low of the one hour range. Okay, follow my cursor in this case. And as you can see here, at uh, 1 15 p.m. candle, we got a buy trade, right? So as you can see here, the market triggered uh, long at 21,189. And after that, market closed here market didn't uh, hit our stop loss, the opposite level as our stop loss here. So that didn't trigger and end of the day, we closed with a almost cost to cost uh, profit, uh, sorry, cost to cost trade. All right. But let's look into the next day, which was also an imbalance day because market first 15 minute close was here. Let me try to mark it. So first 15 minute close was here and the previous day high was here. All right. And in this case, obviously, it's an imbalance today. And uh, once the imbalance is occurred, we wait for first, uh, first one hour to complete. That is the fourth candle here. And after that, we mark high and low of the first one hour. And in this case, the first one hour I got broken here. The high got broken here. Our stop loss was at somewhere here. All right. So somewhere here, that is the low or below. And in this case, market closed here. All right. So the first trade was exited with a cost to cost uh, kind of a loss. So, but here you can see that market uh, almost given a profits of around 127 points of profit. So last uh, long trade was around 16 point loss. Now it's around 127 points. This is the beauty of the strategy. Basically, see any particular strategy is not just this one. So any particular strategy, as long as it is losing less when it is losing and it is gaining more when it is winning, then it has an edge. That's exactly what we are witnessing. The main thing is that it avoids over trading because as you can see here on this day, market closed within the previous, the first 15 minute was here. Let me mark that first 15 minute closed here. All right. And which was within the previous day range. And that we can consider as a balanced market. And uh, as you can see here, how beautifully market, you know, traded sideways. This is the kind of, uh, uh, you know, context we have in here. Similarly, the next day also market closed within the previous, the first 15 minute closed within the previous day range. Again, we got kind of a sideways momentum. Kind of a mean reversion strategies and uh, non-directional strategies you can deploy on uh, imbalance, uh, sorry, balanced day structures. All right. Let's look into the next trade. As you can see here, Give me a moment. Yeah, this is a very good day. This was a very good day on December 20th. As you can see, it was an imbalanced market. 15 minute closed above the previous day high. All right. 
and after that we waited for first one hour and we marked two levels and we got a short trigger because war below was triggered at this candle you can follow my cursor at 11 30 am it was triggered obviously you can see that in this particular case it turned out to be a very big uh, trending day and it captured around 382 points in nifty on one single day so this is a kind of possibilities we have when market opens imbalances all right similarly on the next immediate day we have an imbalance all right so market closed here below the previous day low and we consider this as an imbalance day we waited for first hour and after that we applied simple orb high got broken at this candle you can see here uh, it was around 21,138 uh, 21, uh, level and after that market closed here right so around 119 points of profits on the next immediate day similarly we avoided trade on this day this day but here you can see that market again opened again uh, market first 15 minute closed above the previous day range high and obviously in that case we got a, a long entry at uh, orb high breakout at this particular candle and after that market closed with a profit of around 101 points and similarly the this particular day also we got a orb high breakout at this candle and as you can see here that market returned around 21 points it was cost to cost kind of a scenario so similarly we have not traded as per the system this 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 and almost next four to five days we were not in any particular trade in this case also market initially moved in our favor around 55 points was in our favor but since for simplicity purpose if you if you would have trialed this particular trade with maybe atr and all you would have exited with small profits in this particular trade but here it exited with a 16 points of loss see as you can see here that as as the days progresses it is very clear that it is losing less when it is losing similarly it is gaining more when it is gaining so strategy has a clear edge let's look into some bank nifty examples so let's add bank nifty as you can see here uh, let's look into the next example so here market exited with around 26 points of profits now we are looking into bank nifty again 15 minute candles here also it exited in this particular uh, case market closed the first 15 minute closed above the previous day range high and it was an imbalance and we got a orb high breakout at uh, this candle at the end of the day it exited with a profit of around 19 points cost to cost of profits but now look into this example this is very important and this particular case market moved aggressively in our favor and uh, we captured around 4 12 points of profits in this single trade alone next trade it was a loss loss of uh, how much 224 points but again on the next trade we got around uh, 869 points so as you can see here even though we lost around 220 points in this trade we captured around 869 which immediately captured all the losses we have made in the previous trades so let's do the back testing here in this particular case let's do the back testing i'm doing it on 15 minute and if i open the parameter as you can see here we are entering with a touch basis the moment high or low breaks we are going to get into the trade and trade limit is 2 stop loss it is just for a rough purpose it's not actually active and exit time is 15 uh, which means at uh, 3 15 pm we are going to exit the trade with this particular parameters let's again back test the nifty and as you can see here after deduction of slippage and everything it has generated around uh, 1,119 uh, trades in uh, last 10 years and it has a clear edge and it is it, the you know equity is in a positive edge scenario this is the thing again it's a way plain vanilla uh, orb strategy here that we have tried you can include trialing methods so there are so many creative ways to creatively trial your stop losses as you can see in this particular case you would have avoided this big loss so basically it was somewhere around 54 points of loss in uh, nifty you would have avoided this if you would have trialed this particular stop loss with a bit of an aggressive mode so basically if you used atr and all obviously you would have avoided this kind of losses so here i'm playing vanilla purpose so for simplicity purpose i'm going to i have considered for the opposite level as my stop loss but however main key important point is that whenever there is an imbalances as you can see here the chances of getting bigger moves is very clearly high so that is very much visible on the chart as you can see here in every single chart that we are seeing see this bigger movements and all is happening on the days where imbalanced occurred now you might ask question Nataraj, can i apply this particular strategy for any particular specific stocks i maybe can i screen some stocks based on the volumes and then only apply for those stocks who are in imbalanced mode yes of course you could do but 
major thing is that you need to limit your number of trades that is very very important if you can control that particular part probably you can also do this with any particular stocks that are imbalanced for any specific given day main thing is that when there is an imbalance getting a good moves getting big moves any particular instrument is quite high because there is an imbalance in the supply and demand and that in that results in big movements in most of the cases and that is what we are trying to capture using this simple strategy well that sums up today's video we have covered quite a bit and i hope this video was helpful if you have any particular questions or if there is something specific you would like me to cover in the upcoming session please drop a comment below your question is very very important or your comment is very very important to me and more importantly if you found this video helpful show your support by liking and sharing it with your friends it might be beneficial for them too and also it helps in spreading the word well that's it from my end thank you so much for spending your time with me see you in the next video until then take care bye bye and jai hand Thank mm -hmm. you.